Hello everybody and welcome back to another pet guide. Today we take a look at the Sun Data Hatchling and how to obtain him. To get this pet can be either very easy or very annoying depending on your server and how much luck you have buying stuff from your auction house, since you need a lot of items in preparation. To be more specific, about 20 Nong for Girl Elixir, 1 Gordok Ogre Suit, 1 Major Fire Protection Portion, the same for Arcane, Nature, Holy, Frost and Shadow, those are Burning Crusade recipes, 1 Diabu, about 20 Pygmy Oil, 1 Squall of Intellect, Rank 1, that's important, 1 Ethereal Oil, 1 Perky Puck Pet with a little princess costume, 1 Winterfall Fire Water and Scotty's Lucky Coin. The potions, as well as the Pygmy Oil and the Ethereal Oil, are made by alchemists and hopefully you can buy them from your auction house because otherwise you need to find one with the recipes or farm them yourself. I farmed them myself and I skilled alchemist up for this and this took me about two hours. That was pretty annoying. The Nogenfogger Alexia can be bought in Tanawis and Gadgetzan and that's pretty easy to obtain. After getting your Noggin Foggers, head over to the northern dungeon of Dire Mall and just walk straight up until you reach this area. Collect the item on the ground and hand it over to the goblin below you and he will give you the Ogre Suit in return. Next go over to Blackrock Deaths and head to the Grim Guzzler. To make sure that you don't get in a fight with anyone there and talk to the Dark Iron Brewer on the upper area. Drink with him until he gets really wasted and take the mug that stands on the ground next to you. The Perky Puck Pet might already be in your collection and to obtain him you have to run heroic dungeons with 100 different players and gain the achievement looking for multitudes. The little princess costume can be bought in Legion Alawan for shiny pet charms which you obtain for anything pet battle related really. Scotty's Lucky Coin drops from Scotty on the western island in Tonglong Steps. He's under this big tree behind the house and it has a 100% drop chance. The Squall of Intellect can obviously be bought from the auction house and the Winterfall Fire Water drops from a fur box in Winter Spring. After collecting everything you need, and I mean really everything you need, check yourself, double check yourself. You need everything on the list. Head over here, north of Winter Spring, to this cave I have never seen before. There's a wall of fire you cannot enter unless you use your fire potion. And then there's a wall of fell you cannot enter unless you use every potion you have, every resistance potion you got here. The point is, they have 5 minutes cooldown, so you are sitting here for quite some time. So grab a snack, grab a drink, start Netflix, I don't know, do whatever you want to do. No product placement here. After that, you use a non for Alexia until you turn into a skeleton. Otherwise, this gargoyle would send you back out and nobody wants to wait half an hour just to get sent back again. Yeah, two ways. We take the one to the right through this wanks. Use the lucky coin to turn into Scotty himself. And here again, do not jump into the water. Do not jump at all in this cave. I dare you. You don't want to jump inside here. I know it's difficult, but do not do this. Grab the item in the water, but don't go in the water. And as I said, don't jump. You can use it here to pass through this and there's a golem. Here you have to use the dire brew to turn into a dark iron dwarf. Now you can just get behind him. Otherwise, same thing, you would be at the beginning. Nobody wants that. And here the path splits into two again. We go up there not down. 
and here we go on the white side we use the ethereal oil to pass this and there's this weird looking stone we use the ogre suit and the winterfall fire water we click on it and we get a buff now we go back and here we use the pygmy oil until we turn into a pygmy this takes about seven eight nine depends on rng and after turning into a pygmy we can go pass through this gate Here we summon our little pet, our perky pug, and give him the little princess outfit. Now we can click on this weird cube. Take the lower option. And we get another buff. We go back again. Make sure that you don't jump down there. Walk the road. Don't ever be in the air. Now we can go inside here. Now in this cave, on this one soil, there is this plaque. You need to click this plaque. Do not miss that because I missed that and I had to do it all over again and you don't want to miss that. So click on the plaque and after that remove your fire water buff, your winter fall fire water buff whatever and then use your squall of intellect on yourself. And then you can get into the water but again do not jump. Don't you ever jump in this damn cave. Walk around and walk inside just like me here and get to the egg and collect your pet congratulations that's pretty much it inside this cave you are not allowed to use any spells or toys or items except for one you need to use so you cannot use a half stone either and to get out again just click on all your buffs until you get teleported out again that's how easy it is uh, yeah, congratulations to your pet. I hope I could help you. If yes, please leave a like. Consider to follow me and my channel. Would really appreciate that. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, farewell.